This is Miss Christine from the Vance Chavis branch of Greensboro Public Library. I've recently been doing a segment called Stories and Spices where I look at how different spices um, connect us as different cultures and how they might show up in different stories that I've read. The spice that I'm talking about this time is cumin or cumin, which is one of the oldest known spices in the world and is used in a variety of countries around the world. Um, cumin is a key ingredient in dishes with curry and cumin is also a key ingredient in chili. And so um, as we get into the cooler months, those might be dishes that you look to prepare. Um, both of those dishes are pretty popular in the Caribbean and it reminded me of a story that I recently read called Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo. And this story is about two young ladies who are connected by their Dominican culture. And in the Dominican Republic, um, dishes like Dominican yellow rice use cumin. Um, one of the characters in the book, um, the one who lives in the Dominican Republic, her one of her good friends is from Haiti, which is the country that shares the island with the Dominican Republic. And in Haiti, the spice cumin is used as well. In fact, it might be used in a dish like uh, red beans and rice dish. You might find cumin as one of the key ingredients. And so it's interesting to see how um, even though cultures are very different, there are common things like spices that connect us. But this story is interesting for other reasons too. And I'm gonna read a little bit from the inside cover so you see what I mean. Camino Rios lives for the summers when her father visits her in the Dominican Republic. But this year, on the day when his plane is supposed to land, Camino arrives at the airport to see crowds of crying people. In New York City, Yahaira Rios is called to the principal's office where her mother is waiting to tell her that her father, her hero, has died in a plane crash. Separated by distance and Poppy's secrets, the two girls are forced to face a new reality in which their father is dead and their lives are forever altered. And then, when it seems like they've lost everything, they learn of each other. Poppy's death uncovers all the painful truths he's kept hidden and the love divided, ugh, and the love he divided across an ocean. And now Yahaira and Camino are both left to grapple with what a new sister means to them and what it will take to keep their dreams alive. In a novel in verse that brims with both grief and love, award-winning and best-selling author Elizabeth Acevedo writes about the devastation of loss, the difficulty of forgiveness, and the bittersweet bonds that shape our lives. And this is a very interesting story and as I said, as it noted, it's written in verse so it's actually a pretty quick read but it's a very moving story. And this story reminds me of another story that I've recently read um, called Silver Sparrow. This book is by Tayari Jones and it's published by Algonquin Books. And um, this is the story that is the focus of the Big Read program that we've been invited to participate in with UNCG and Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. And I'm going to read from the uh, description of the book so you see what it has in common with Clap When You Land. With the opening line of Silver Sparrow, my father, James Witherspoon, is a bigamist. Author Tayari Jones unveils a breathtaking story about a man's deception, a family's complicity, and the two teenage girls caught in the middle. Set in Atlanta in the 1980s, the novel revolves around James Witherspoon's two families, the public one and the secret one. When the daughters from each family meet and form a friendship, only one of them knows they are sisters. It is a relationship destined to explode. This is a stunning novel from an author the Atlanta Journal-Constitution deemed one of the most important writers of her generation. And so you see 
Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo and Silver Sparrow by Tayari Jones are both about teenage girls who didn't realize they were sisters but find out that they are and all of the emotional uh, roller coasters that they each go on as they learn about these truths. And so these are very compelling books that I encourage you to read. They're available as uh, paper books, as ebooks or audiobooks. You can check them out with your Greensboro Public Library card, or if you are a Guilford County School student, you can use your student ID or lunch number. Just type in the letters GCS in front of it. And as far as the book Silver Sparrow, please keep an eye out for the different events that we have coming up related to the book and the Big Read program. There are book discussions and panel discussions. Many of them you can register for via Zoom. Please check our website and our different social media pages to learn more. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great day.